Michaela, thank you so much for being here today and being the recipient of the Outstanding Young Professional Award here in the Department of Kinesiology. I honestly can't think of anyone that deserves it more than you do. To give it a sense of what the what this award is, nominees must be at least 30 years of age or younger and have been in the field for more than two years. And Michaela has done that and, and killed it in multiple places in her career. Um, so first off, congratulations, Michaela. We're really excited to award you this award. The other question we had for you is, um, how did your time here at Utah State help prepare you for the job or jobs that you've had since graduating? One thing that I have mentioned a lot since, like, since I've been working here is the classes that I took up at Utah State, they required a lot of in-person experience. So it wasn't just sitting in a classroom and learning. It was going out, it was creating programs, it was helping out with events in the community and, you know, doing um, work experience classes and then an internship. And through all of those things, I've been able to like look back on that and use that stuff in my job right now. And it's, I can see that there are things that I've done like in my internship or even just in like a, I think it was Parks PRP 3000, just like helping out with community events and planning and I just learned a lot from those those classes and experiences. Awesome. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Kevin, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm honored to be able to award you the Outstanding Alumni Administrator Award. What I was hoping to ask is just, you know, how is your, was your time at Utah State useful in setting up your career and how, where have you gone since you left here? Well, thanks so much, Nate. I, I'm humbled and honored. I loved my time at Utah State. First and foremost, professors were fantastic mentors and really helped me see the broad scheme of what could be done in our field. And that's what made me fall in love with the field. And I've had an opportunity to, to really experiment and enjoy a lot of different aspects of recreation because of that. I mean, some of the things they would do is invite people to come speak from the field and be able to really ask those people questions and see facilities and get excited about all the possibilities. And still to this day, I'm, I'm a junkie of wanting to go see the rec center of whatever city I'm in or check out a park. And um, I, I'm just very passionate about what we do and what it means to communities to have parks and recreation. Um, I also was able to be the student representative while I was there at Utah State, and that gave me some leadership opportunities. I really valued that time. That's awesome. Thank you, Kevin. And you were you were an ambassador for our college, right? Not just for our department, yes. but for the whole college. And yeah, we, we appreciate all that you do. Um, I, I mentioned to you before we started, as I watched your service, how much I admire your dedication to our organization, Utah Recreation and Park Association, and all that you give there. So I can only imagine um, what you're able to do as a director there at the Okafer Rec Center. And congratulations on, on the award and congratulations on where you've gotten with your career. Well, thank you. And I, I truly attribute it back to the foundations that I was given while I was a student at Utah State. There's, there's no place better to learn about parks and recreation than there. 